everyone welcome back to pray shop cruise my name is itiri and today i'm going to attempt to explain how i tried to pack for this nine day celebrity beyond cruise trip for my birthday as you can see i had three bags i had two luggage suitcases one was a uh, 28 inch and one was a regular carry-on on top of a shoulder bag i didn't know what the heck I was doing because I didn't know what I might need for these nine days. So I was preparing for the worst. Um, I got to the room and I just wanted to show you how my suitcase looked on the inside. I utilized packing cubes for this trip. So one packing cube had all the dinner clothes. One packing cube had all the like adventure type clothes. I had another packing cube with shoes and another packing cube with bathing suits and miscellaneous. I had socks in that zipper part there. I had a paper towel and some of the other holders of the suitcase. And I'm just trying to go over and show you how I packed. I did pack hooks and extra bags and shrinkable plastic bags, which I'll show you later, that I use for my dirty clothes. And then also later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how I tried to situate my room. I had a solo cabin with Celebrity Beyond and you just don't have a lot of storage in a solo cabin. As you can see, I had another packing cube for miscellaneous items with like duct tape, Clorox wipes. Oh, and another packing cube for underclothes. So I used packing cubes to separate everything and keep everything neat. And it worked out really well, but I did overpack. I didn't need all those clothes. <laughs> this is me setting the packing cubes on top of the bed when I was trying to take everything out. And I'm just showing you here that this is the only closet you get for a solo cabin. For a single solo stateroom, this is it. And then I utilize that space under there. And I also utilize the under the bed space to put my bigger suitcase in. So I'm gonna let their video finish running and I'm gonna show you um, how I use these hooks and things in the room. Thanks for watching. I'm hanging a hat, I have a bag there. I have three more hangers there. Not sure what I'm gonna use those for. Um, I also just wanted to show how I unpack some of my stuff. So. The packing cubes were essential because some things have to stay in these packing cubes because you just don't have a lot of room in the solo cabin. You only have this one closet that I can see. I've hung up all my items and put my shoes there. I put my suitcase, my big suitcase, under the bed. And that is a 28 inch suitcase. And then for now, I just set my other two bags over here um, because I'm not going to be really be using the side of the bed. Uh, so this is the side I'm going to sleep on. I did use some of these drawers for some things. Um, and then this is the little technology stack thing we have here. I've got my extra plug. This would be for my iWatch. This is a backlit mirror. I'm not really doing an official room tour, but you're getting to see how this room looks. <laughs> uh, this has been crazy. This whole experience has been super, super fast getting onto this ship. This is my veranda. And of course the screen there comes down and you also have a tinted screen that'll come down. There are a lot of other videos that show how that looks. I'll probably show that later if I get around to it. The artwork in here is beautiful, but I wish they would have given us maybe drawers or something or cabinets because this thing is really lacking space, but the mirror is nice. You do have another full length, you have a full length mirror here and you have that makeup mirror over there. So I figured out a way, a place to put this trash can. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, how I've been using the the metal things the safe is right there they do give you an umbrella laundry you can get your clothes steamed my mom is actually going to use that steaming service um just to try it out this refrigerator does come stocked with stuff you'd have to pay for coca-cola heineken looks like some tito's handmade vodka that other stuff is cabernet i think pop said he's going to drink some of the heineken so that's just quick. I'm on deck six, but my assembly station is deck four. My muster is deck four right at the casino. So that's really dope. Um, I'll be back for more <laughs> as I can. Ah. Getting ready for dinner. 
on the first night here, but I wanted to show, I've got everything in this bathroom. <laughs> it's not clean. Um, but I wanted to show that I've also been using these hooks here for my all my hair supplies, <laughs> struggles. And then my personal bag, I kind of it, hung it on this towel rack for right now. So I've got all kinds of hanging storage going on in this solo cabin. Um, again, there's not a lot of space for us, but I'm using that under cabinet there for some items in my packing cube. I have a packing cube here. So those are the things that didn't make the closet. And of course the shower, the shower head, the water gets pretty hot, nice. Um, they have the upgraded toiletries. Um, and you have your upgraded toiletries here. The sink's nice. It's small, but they put all the space in this shower, which was brilliant. Um, so yeah, putting the space in that shower was the best thing they could ever do. You don't touch, nothing touches itself. Like you don't touch the glass or anything um, in that shower because it's such a great size. So that's just a quick look of the messy room and how I've been trying to unpack my items here. Um, I did decide to use this hook for my robe. Every room gets a celebrity robe. I've got some other bags here with the hooks. I'm putting dirty clothes in these shrinkable bags. That's how I've been doing it. And yeah, so that's the Unpacking Chronicles for now. So I'm re-putting this clip in here about the hooks. I just want to say that these magnetic hooks were purchased from Amazon. All of the hooks uh, that you see on that side and this side of the cabin, I purchased myself. I traveled with these. I also traveled with hangers. Uh, I purchased some hangers that, some extra hangers that folded out from Amazon. I need to put a, a clip of how those look, but they're easy to pack. Um, they're black. I don't know if you can see them in that closet. You can't, but I did pack extra hangers and I did use all the extra hangers that I packed. Uh, the shrinkable bags as well to put my dirty clothes in. I purchased those from Amazon as well. Um, any of the the hefty tips and tricks, the <laughs> the supplies are most likely from uh, from Amazon. So if you have any questions about any of that, let me know. Again, this is a single solo person cabin. That's why the space is small. My mom and pops had a lot more space in their room for two people uh, for a cove balcony room on the Celebrity Beyond. This is strictly a cabin for one person, the cabin that I'm in that I'm showing you. So although it is small with you know space for to put your clothes, it is still a great size cabin for a single solo person in general. I just had a lot of clothes because I'm a diva and I like to change. So, but if you're a single person, I feel like this cabin is worth the price. It is expensive, close to four four grand. Um, it's their edge class ship, you know, one of the newest ships. So expect to pay. You've got the veranda window. It was all worth it for me for my 33rd birthday. If you have any more questions about how I packed and what I packed, please do let me know. Um, other than the hangers, the magnetic, uh, the magnetic hooks, a paper towel, Clorox wipes, duct tape, just in case any of the suitcases fell apart. Um, I'm trying to think of any like other nifty little things that I packed um, you know, all my cell phone stuff, extra chargers, clothes for different occasions, extra shoes, um, extra bags, anything else, um, I can think of. If I think of something later, I'll put it in the description. But if you have any other questions about how I packed or what I packed, let me know. I was searching on YouTube for like how people were packing for extended long cruises, not for those like five to six nights and not with like just taking one bag. I wanted to try to find someone who had multiple bags like me and I couldn't. So if you take multiple bags like I did, let me know if you take multiple suitcases, like a big one and then a smaller like 20 inch one, let me know because I'm not seeing that a lot on here. And I feel like someone's not being honest because <laughs> when you start getting over nine days and 14 days, you need more luggage because you need more things and you're going to more places. So please put in the comments below if you've taken longer trips and how you pack for them. I'm not a pack like person. So when I end up taking my 14 night trip, uh, which I plan to in the future, I will not be packing light. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you take multiple suitcases. I'd love to hear your opinions. Thanks for watching.